This is what I do when the snow hits it. It's four times her size, but Judith Peck knows exactly how to care for her statue of Moses. The head came from a milk crate. We were getting milk delivered in Mawa, and I realized that is the shape I want. It took the Mawa sculptor more than a year to put the 20-foot figurine together. She had to lay it on its side to complete the project. He has an iron frame. It was a crane. She says every second was worth it when she sees the motivation the statue gives others. What I'd like people to see is they are too monumental. They have resources they've never used. And when they're called upon by themselves or others, they find those resources. Similar to the biblical figure, this sculpture of Moses has been wandering for 40 years. Not through the desert, but New York and New Jersey. It's been installed at the Reformed Temple of Suffering, Christ Church in Ridgewood, Ramapo College, and most recently at the Clifton Arts Center. Every single place he has resided at, he left it because a parking lot was planned, and he took up a lot of room. So now it sits next to Peck's house, along with other figurines. She's hoping, though, the statue soon finds a permanent home. This belongs to be seen. Art is not finished until it is viewed by other people. There is an interrelationship between the artist and the viewer, and so it's not enough for me to just have it here. After 40 years of wandering, she says it deserves to discover its own promised land. Clark Foraker, CBS 2 News.